So you're in the market for a new ice cream freezer. You know there's a bunch of options out there, you're not sure which ones you'd like. I'd like to show you some of the different features here and uh, the popular models that are available. For many people, this White Mountain has been what they grew up with and they're most familiar with. Uh, White Mountain is made by a rival, a, a large corporation, and they purchased, purchased the White Mountain uh, line of products here a number of years ago and made some changes, some for the better, especially for the cost-wise, and also some that people had different opinions about. But nevertheless, I'd like to show you some of the features here on this model. Inside the White Mountain freezer, you'll find a zinc-coated dasher, beech wood scraper blades, and a lightweight stainless steel can. All goes together nice and neatly. Also, you'll notice a, a triple acting dasher that uh, turns um, the opposite way the can does. And you'll also find a uh, aluminum lid uh, with the, uh, the, the uh, square here where the can is turned by. Gear frame made of a cast material um, with uh, China made cast gears on the inside and, uh, and also a cast handle and uh, a steel shaft that uh, feeds that. The tub is made up of a New England white pine. Um, I believe that's primarily the only part made in America if I understand it correctly. And uh, you'll notice the absence of locking ears here. White Mountain claims that people prefer, or are, are happy with the idea that the, the um, gear frame just kind of sits in place um, and uh, stays on that way. The inside of the can, the inside of the tub has a cast tub center uh, make sure you wash this thing out very well after you use it. Don't let it sit there for half a day before you wash it out so that it does not rust because the uh, tub center is prone to rust. The folks at Country Freezer, located here in Ohio, in the United States, saw the need for a more robust version of a hand crank freezer. And so they developed the uh, Country hand crank freezer made up of white oak staves, which is kind of the standard for wooden tubs. And they use a heavy, heavy version of that. And also, um, they wanted a, a gear frame that stays on a little better, so they developed a, a latch system that is uh, very secure, so once it's on there, it will not come back off again. Um, and rather than using using a, a cast cast iron gear frame, they use a manganese alloy, which manganese alloy is uh, naturally rust resistant and also provides its own sort of uh, bearing or lubrication, as you might say, uh, beings of the metal composite metal properties that are in it. Um, and that's why there's no bearings in the shafts here. The shaft will be stainless steel and the crank as well. And the gears, um, they also machine them a little more precisely so you don't have the binding effect that some people noticed in other freezers in the past. And also you will see uh, a grease dirt on here. So once in a great while you need to lubricate that with a, a food grade grease uh, just for, for for, uh, to extend the life of it. The folks at Country Freezer who make the tub realize we need a stainless steel band that is gonna last for a long time and make it adjustable so you can tighten it down as it gets, as, it, as, as the, if the wood dries out. And also they use a stainless steel tub center or a polyx tub center, depends which model you have, uh, to make sure that doesn't rust out on you if you forget to wash it out right after your party's over. Um, their can, they use a, a heavy duty stainless steel brushed finished stainless steel can and a one-piece scraper da um, dasher inside with poly scraping blades. Of course, they're like other, other models, they're self-adjusting. That's why the screw is a little bit loose. Uh, so they follow the sides of the can. Um, some people prefer the one piece like this so they can clean it off really easy when they pull it out of the can. Other people like the uh, other styles. That's, that's kind of your choice. Uh, using a, a clear lid, now we can see what's happening inside. So those of us who can't, who wait, can't wait for ice cream, they can uh, see if it's about ready or not. The Immigrant Freezer is made here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. They found the needs of a better freezer than what was currently available. So they set about making some changes. First thing you're gonna notice is a poly tub. This poly tub is made in a rotational mold of polyethylene. It is 
made in such a way that there's an inner cavity here that is filled with foam. So the outside layer is polyethylene, inside middle layer is foam, and the very inside is, again, poly. That means that you have a well-insulated tub that will keep your ice cream cold and keep your ice uh, working well for you. The next thing you'll notice is a stainless steel parts. Rather than using a, a cast product, they uh, are using a stamped stainless steel for their gear frame, and uh, as well as uh, stainless steel handles, poly handle here. The next thing is, is well-machined stainless steel gears. Not only are these are well-machined gears, but they're also stainless steel, and they're also special gears that allow the triple action um, happening with well, well, this ring here turns one direction and the inner ring turns another direction. You notice poly wear bushings, the standard of commercial equipment, means that we won't need lubrication for it, grease, or, or um, periodic maintenance for it. This should be trouble free for many years. Next part of a really good freezer is a can where the good stuff really happens. Start out with a clear lid. This is um, a product that Ambergood came out with and has been adopted by other freezers as well. It allows you to see the ice cream as it's being frozen rather than wait until you're near the end to take a sneak peek. Inside the can, you'll find a stainless steel dasher. Um, not, not nickel plated, not cast aluminum or nothing like that, but it's stainless steel with poly scraper blades. Um, it also supports a triple action kind of things. So that means as the can rotates one direction, the uh, the dasher rotates in a counterclockwise rotation and then the center rotates in a clockwise in rotation. It means you have a triple folding action on your ice cream as it's creating a creamy texture for you. The can also, as you lift it up, you'll soon figure out that it's much heavier than imported models that are that are made made cheaply, um, made of a, of a polished stainless steel stain, um, can. Along with our well-made tubs, we're going to find a tub center made up of a special plastic so it won't rust or corrode. And if you forget to dump the salt water out after your party's done, why, well, nothing to worry about. Nothing's going to rust away inside there. You don't have to clean out your tub immediately just because you're worried about corrosion in there. Some of the ones in the past have made, been made out of steel or cast iron. And then over the course of time, being in that salt brine, they would rust and, and cause issues for you. You also notice, as most tubs would have, a drain on the side. This allows the excess water to drain off before it runs into the can. Keeps you from having salty ice cream, which is not very pleasant. Recently we've been introduced to the Lifetime Ice Cream Freezer, made by folks in Ohio. And uh, they use some of the same ideas as some other companies have. But um, one of the unique features of their ice cream freezer is a, is a tub latch. Is a cam style latch, works kind of like an old window maybe. And um, stainless steel parts, the gear frame itself is also made of manganese alloy painted with a gray paint, um, resisting rust there. And also the gears are well machined and come pre-lubricated, although they don't, they're suggesting it won't need lubrication after you, after you use it. They use a brushed stainless steel can a clear lid as well as a one-piece stainless steel laser cut dasher that goes inside it uh, along with poly scraping blades. The tub of the Lifetime Freezer, it is, uh, contains a, a insulation in the product itself so that it won't condensate on the outside uh, as, a, as a solid plastic might. Um, but it means that it's a uh, leak-proof style design. And they believe it'll last a lifetime. And uh, the tub center also includes a plastic base in here to make sure that it won't rust on you if you forget to wash out your can. Um, and the, like we mentioned before, the parts in here are also stainless steel. So to cap this off, you have the choice of four freezers that are most common available in the market today. The White Mountain, made by Rival, large corporation, Country freezer made in Ohio of um, traditional hand craftsmanship. The uh, Embergood ice cream freezer made here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, and the Lifetime freezer made in Ohio. They all do the job. 
you get to decide what's going to be for your family. Have fun making ice cream. Best of all, enjoy it.